as heaven seen is heaven heard all you have planned for me and nothing can separate me from your love but it's so much more worth fighting for yes yes you guys y'all already know your girl can't sing but when god is in the midst oh i have to hit a little tune or two okay god has a word of message for you guys y'all ready for this word of message because we have yet to see what god has in store for us i'm ready let's go let's get into it it's your girl Rob. hello 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 everybody this your girl ro i am back back with another message back with another word back with another prophecy yes you guys i am back i'm back as promised you guys and yes we are about to get into our devotional you guys yes god has been leading me back to our devotionals and actually um this devotional um is the one that we do that i used to do morning and evening i'm only doing one i'm just doing what god gave me to give to you and the title of this devotional is a part okay a part now before we get into this word or message god has, is leading me the, the spirit is leading me to pray really quick so let's get into our quick prayer father god in the name of jesus we thank you, Heavenly Father, for life on today, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for strength on today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity to gather together yet once again, God, to hear the word or message that you have for us, God. We seek you, God. We glorify you, God. We magnify you, God. We want to come together and touch and agree on what it is that you have for us, God. I ask you to remove me and replace me with you, God. To let your people know who have come to join, who come to watch, who come just to seek you, God. That they get a word of message and, and, and that whatever it is that they receive from me, that they bring it back to you for confirmation, God. That I'm just a vessel working for you, God. And that I don't have all the answers. And I don't know what it is that you're about to bring forth, but I know that it is great. In your dear son's name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, lead us, guide us, direct us, God. We ready. So the title again is Apart. And the Bible scripture is Ephesians 4, 11 through 12, and it's the NIV version. And you guys, um, I'm going to try my best not to read a lot, okay? I want to, I want to, you, I want, I want to speak from the heart and most of everything that I'm doing, okay? Because I notice that when I read a lot, those are the videos that people get bored with and they don't, they miss the message because they're not watching. But I encourage you guys to watch the entire message, even though it's reading, okay? The word God gives is at the end of the reading. So I encourage you to make sure you are watching the videos in its entirety, okay? So Ephesians 4, 11 and 12 reads, Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastor and the teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you for that word. That's just, that's just it. I don't even think I want to go any further into this because God has been building up his kingdom of people. You hear me? I have been paying attention and watching the platforms that are i'm surrounded with that have been being sent to me that i have been um i've had the opportunity to be connected to okay and all of everyone is on the same path everyone has the same agenda and that is to help build up the body of christ to help those who are in need grow to help those who are lost fine okay and so the reading of this devotional says, God provides what is needed for his church to be built up. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers are the five areas needed to see the body of Christ built up. By this, if some are called to be pastors, then some are called to do things other than pastor. So while it might seem that the pastor can accomplish all these roles, we are each given a role in building up the body of Christ. If you are a teacher, teach in the body of Christ. If you are a prophet, prophesy. 
for the building up of the body of Christ. We may often think that our gift is not needed in the body, but it was given for the building up of the body of Christ. And then the little uh, prayer reads, great giver of gifts. Thank you for giving me my gift for your body. Help me to understand it may help me to understand it more fully and use it more completely okay so god is saying to you whoever you are who have been debating whether you were going to use the gift that god has given you he has granted you a gift you know that there is a gift you can't quite put your finger on what that gift is exactly but you know god has given you a gift God is saying in this message, in this devotional, it's time to move. It's time to be apart. Okay? You can be separated apart, set apart from those who are hindering you and be put a to be a part of the body of Christ. Okay? So God wants you to understand your role in this season. Okay, we're in that season of figuring out what God wants for us to do. Okay, God has been revealing this to you in your dreams, visions, um, even in just thoughts, daydreaming. God has been revealing to you the little things um, and bits and pieces of what he wants you to do. Okay, and a lot of you find yourself doing things that you're like why am i always in a position that i'm teaching someone something or why am i always in a position of where people are calling me asking for my advice why am i in a position to where i'm having a dream about something and someone calls me and say hey guess what happened and what happened is exactly as what you dreamt about that's because God has gifted you and it's time for you to be set apart to begin to use the gifts that God has given you. Now, I be I was reading in um, this book. I'm not going to tell you what the book is right now, only because I need to read into it a little bit more. Okay. I don't like to share certain materials until I know that the material is credible, okay? And when I say share it, meaning the name and all this other stuff, but I found some interesting statements, okay? That, it, I mean, it's general, okay? So that's why I'm, I'm sharing it with you now. But the title is called Unshakable Faith. And it reads, when God puts a promise in your heart, you have to come to the place where you believe in that promise so strongly, no one can talk you out of it. It may seem impossible. Your medical report may say there's no way you will get well. It may look like you'll never get out of debt. All the circumstances may indicate you'll never accomplish your dreams. Never meet the right people or never see your family restored. But deep down, you've got to have this confidence and knowing that God is still on the throne. He is bigger than any obstacle. He already has a way. He is working behind the scenes. What he promised will come to pass at the right time. You don't get discouraged if it takes a long time. You don't complain if there is a setback. You have this unshakable confidence and this is what the apostle apostle paul did he had a made up mind he said in acts 20 and 24 none of these things moves me what were these things circumstances that looked impossible okay and so god is saying what you're fighting for is bigger than you god is saying you have unshakable faith that's why you have been chosen to walk in the path that he has you on. That's why you are receiving downloads. That's why he is sending encouragement. This video, motivating you to push through, to push forward, to strive, to seek, to go after all of the above. Okay? 
So God wants you to understand that in this present hour, in this present moment, in this present second, in this present season, that it is your time to be apart, to be separated from those that does not mean you any good, those that are blocking you, hindering you, stopping you, and be set apart of something bigger, greater, better, that's going to elevate you, level you up, encourage you, give you the strength you need to sustain and with it, with everything that is going to happen soon, okay? That's all I have for you guys. You guys, you make sure you take this word to God. You make sure you ask him to please show you what it is that he needs for you to do. And if this word or message is not for you, you make sure you take it to someone who it may be for or just take it to God in prayer and ask him to give you the spirit of the sermon so that you can find what it is that you're seeking after. You guys, you already know the drill. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. And as always, be a blessing to others until the next video. Bye.